What's up, y'all? Nefertiti, also known as a corny rainbow. And today I have a very special sew along for you guys. I'm going to be sewing up my new fall Nomi pattern 2055. In this sew along, we're going to be doing view A, which is the bodysuit. And I'm so excited. I know I say that every single time, but I'm so excited to make this one. I already have different color ideas in mind. This is going to be the third time that I've made it. Please just have fun with this pattern. So I'm going to be using two different fabrics, a mesh fabric and also a sturdy knit. You can flip over the pattern envelope and see that you can use active wear knit, ITY, or two-way stretch knit. For the contrast, you can use stretch mesh. There is also a sew along for view B, but in this sew along, we're just going to be doing view A, which is the bodysuit. Let's get started. Some notions that you will need is one 12 inch zipper, and you may need to adjust it to fit. A four inch length of three fourths of an inch snap tape. And if you don't know what snap tape looks like, this is snap tape here. So it should be two sides. One side will have uh, the snap and then the inset of the snap. Four inches of snap tape. And lastly, you will need one and seven eighth yards of one fourth of an inch in elastic. Pattern piece number one, which is your front, you're gonna cut one on the fold. Be sure to transfer your stitching lines and all of your markings here, really important for when we insert our zipper. Pattern piece number two, our back piece, we're gonna cut two. Our sleeve, we're going to cut two of our contrast fabric. Pattern piece number four, our sleeve band, you're going to cut two of contrast and fabric or two of your rib trim. Pattern piece number five, our neck band, you're going to cut one of your rib trim or your contrasting fabric. And lastly, you don't need to cut out any fabric, but this is a guide for your elastic for our leg bands and you're going to cut two pieces of elastic. For your front piece, you should have gone ahead and stitched down your stitching line. We're going to go ahead and cut this open so that we can have our opening for our zipper. Right on that cutting line, go ahead and cut. And you're going to cut a triangle making sure that you don't cut into your stitches there. So it should look like this. Go ahead and put this piece to the side and grab your back. For your back pattern piece with right sides together, we're going to stitch at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I like to use a lightning zigzag stitch and then go over it with a serger. I'm also going to be using my cover stitch machine because I want the outside seams to have a really nice finished stitch. Head over to the machine and stitch this down at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance with your lightning or your regular zigzag stitch. Okay, so I went ahead and I cover stitched my seam allowance down on my back pattern piece. You don't have a cover stitch that's fine you can surge or zigzag your um, seam allowance now we're going to grab our sleeve and our front piece so you should have a double notch on your back pattern piece and a single notch on your front pattern piece we're going to match one of our sleeves with right sides together go ahead and add in your dart on your sleeve and also your gathering stitches on your lower edge of your sleeve. Go ahead and match up your notches. We have our front piece, our sleeve, and then our back piece. We're gonna be stitching at the armhole here at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then you're gonna stitch again at 1 fourth of an inch seam allowance. Uh, 
if you're not using a cover stitch machine, go ahead and stitch at one fourth of an inch seam allowance. If you are using a cover stitch machine, you're gonna press your seams toward your uh, front and back pieces and go ahead and finish off your seam allowance with your cover stitch machine. If you want to achieve a similar look but you don't have a cover stitch machine, you can always use a twin needle and top stitch your garment in the same method. Before we attach our side seams together, you're going to turn your garment right side out and we're going to grab our neckband. You should have um, notches on both sides and also markings for your center back and also where you're gonna match up your shoulder seams. So let's go ahead and match up our center back and our notches. Where you have your first marking is where we're going to match up our dart and your dart should be pressed towards the front. After I attach my zipper, I'm going to be adding a facing to the inside of the zipper. This is not included in your pattern instructions. This is a addition that I think will help to make the insides a little bit more cleaner. So if you do not want to do that hack with me, go ahead and fold down your neckband and pin through all thickness, matching your markings and your notches. But I'm going to uh, show you guys how to add a facing by making it with your front pattern piece so that we can have a nice clean finish on the inside of our zipper. Let's go ahead and head over to the machine. The next step that we have is attaching our zipper. So I've gone ahead and I've pinned down the zipper. You want to make sure that you have made markings on your zipper as to uh, where everything needs to stop. So we're going to fold in that seam allowance or right where those stitches are and where you have your markings on your zipper, you're going to match up. go ahead and pin all right so right where you have your little triangle here you're gonna fold that in as well about one fourth of an inch under my fold line is where my zipper stop is all right so we're gonna stitch down our zipper at one fourth of an inch seam allowance and we're gonna make sure that we are starting at our fold line and we're going to go all the way around. So let's head over to the machine. Alright, once you have stitched down your zipper, go ahead and grab your front pattern piece. I've already cut out my facing. I'm going to grab another piece of fabric and show you how you can do the same. We're going to put our pattern piece on the fold line the same way that we did for our front pattern piece. Go ahead and pin it down. All right, so if you have tracing paper, you can slide your tracing paper up under the pattern piece and then you can start to form a piece that will look similar to this piece here. If you want to measure everything out, you can go ahead and do that. This is what you should end up with once you uh, trace everything out. Okay, so I'm going to use a marker to show you guys the outline. Again, you can be a, a little bit more precise 
with this. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the pattern piece. All right, when you're done with this, you can just tape it back to your pattern piece or you can trace out the full pattern piece, transfer your notches and also create your stitching line. Once you have created your stitching line, open everything up and on the outer edge, we're going to serge or finish off our raw edge so that everything is neat on the inside. Once you've surged your raw edge, go ahead and grab your bodysuit, turn it wrong side out, and we're going to do the same thing that we did on the right side. On the inside, we're going to go over the existing stitches that we already created on the front. trim here, push that collar up. We're gonna pin our facing right at the notch there. All right, once you have everything pinned down, go ahead and stitch along our existing stitches on the right side. All right, once we, you have stitched down your zipper facing, you're gonna give your collar a good press. You're pressing under your seam allowance, five eighths of an inch. Go ahead and fold the rest of our zipper tape in and along our fold line for our collar, go ahead and pin. Once you've pinned down your collar, now we're going to head over to the machine and go ahead and follow along your existing stitches on the outside of your collar. Just stitch from the top of our fold to the bottom of our collar. Also slip stitch the remaining collar down. Now we're going to stitch down our sleeve and our side seams. So matching up right sides together and your notches, go ahead and pin, close off your sleeve and your side seams on both sides, stitching at five eighths of an inch seam allowance. If you have a serger, go ahead and serge off your raw edge. We have stitched down our sleeve in our side seam. Go ahead and grab your sleeve band. So I've gone ahead and with right sides together, I have stitched at five eighths of an inch seam allowance and press everything open. Then you're going to fold down your band but with wrong sides together. Just go ahead and pin. Should have a notch on your band. I'll turn your sleeve right side out. If you're using a rib that has um, one side that's striped and another, and, the, and another side that's not, make sure that you put that side is your right side, okay? Go ahead and match up your seams and then find your notch. All right, go ahead and head over to the machine and stitch your sleeve band to your sleeve at five eighths of an inch seam allowance, and then go ahead and finish off your raw edge. Once you have attached your sleeve, go ahead and press your seam allowance towards your sleeve. Once you have cut your two pieces of elastic, go ahead and pin one end to the inside. All right, turn your bodysuit inside out. All right, I'm going to start on the back. You're going to pin your elastic right along the edge. We're going to start at the bottom opening. And this marking is where we're going to meet our side seam. Go ahead and pin. So we're going to be stretching our elastic to fit once we stitch this down. Let's go ahead and head over to the machine. All 
All right, once you attach your elastic to your inner leg, now we're gonna turn these seams towards the inside. Pin. On the right side of your bodysuit, you can either top stitch with a zigzag stitch or you can uh, top stitch with a twin needle um, doing double stitching to finish this off. Or you can use your cover stitch machine and finish this off with your cover stitch. I'm going to be finishing it off with my cover stitch. Go ahead and do that for both inside leg seams. Once you have finished off your inside leg seams, go ahead and grab your snap tape. We're gonna match up our snap with our stitching that we made on the inside leg seam. So go ahead and separate your snaps. All right, so not your prong side, but your ball side, we're going to pin right along the edge. So once you've pinned your snap tape down, we're gonna be stitching on the upper edge here with our zipper foot, and you're gonna fold in that edge. Let's head over to the machine. Once you've stitched down your tape, go ahead and turn it towards the inside. And now we're going to stitch along this top edge here. All right, so for your front crotch, we pinned the snap tape to the outside of the front first. For your back crotch, you're gonna pin your snap tape to the inside of your crotch first. Now we are going to fold this towards the right side of our back. Stitch down the upper edge on the right side of your back crotch. Try on your bodysuit and we are all done. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for sewing along with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are sewing view B, you will find that in another sew along. Until next time, peace.